Look, we've got to talk. We're not getting along, and I want to figure this out. My deposit is writ on a parchment of skin. Yes, I understand you, but I don't always... understand you. You get what I'm saying? Someone watches from the window. Will the boy come out and play? What do you mean? I'm not too serious. Am I? Melt the ice caps! Ravage the water fountain! How could you lose that watch? It was the only thing I had left. The minute hand's an animal, and seconds are ticks that drain me of dark embers! I don't care if it freaked you out. How are we supposed to live together if you don't respect my stuff? Ugh, no! I hold the mirror, you hold the snake! Just, uh, just get out of here, I need some space. If we're stuck in here together, we might as well find a way to pass the time. I've got a joke. Ready? Perversion diversion! Okay, here goes. Why did the skag cross the road? Give chase! They scatter at my shadow! Disembowel! A belly full of coals! We feast! There aren't any skags, it's a joke. Phantoms hunt? Right, imaginary. L like a story. Why did the skag cross the road? My shadow feeds! <sighs> Dive into the marrow and lick the wounds clean! I understand, Krieg. Well, to be frank, nothing you say makes direct sense. Your speech is erratic and essentially incomprehensible. But what I meant to say is, we are alike in a finite number of ways which allows me to connect with who you are. We are both comfortable with solitude. We both speak our minds in a way that others may find off-putting. And that concludes the list. To my own surprise, I even find myself admiring you. So you see, Krieg... I do not understand a word you say, but I do understand you. We bind our bloody hands together for eternity. Rend the bones and let the marrow slither out into the rot. Hey, can we talk? Bend the ear, let crows and trumpets sing. You don't have to be sarcastic, but we've been in here a while, together, and I don't get it. You, I mean. Why is it always war with you? Cast into the hungry game where sits a seesaw when there is only one side. Your trousers are soiled like mine. I am not like you. A man walks up to a spit of meat and he says, Deliver the charred goodness or out goes the candle. <laughs> what? No, th there's nothing funny about that. Meat is life, a delicious dance. Okay, so how would you end the joke, then? When meat has charred, the laughter dies! Let's workshop that a bit more. One can easily deduce his place of origin is Pandora, for he is as much a calamity as it. Yeah, yeah, he's ugly like bird poop. Caca! Even with directions on their souls, he lacks the mental capacity to evacuate waste from inside his shoes. Brains aren't everything. You should know. But in his case, they're nothing. <laughs> Poor fellow. His face appears as though his neck regurgitated something putrid. Shh! Shut up! Shut up! He's coming! Good day, Krieg. Hey, Krieg. What's up? I don't know. Can we trust him? He saved me, Lilith. He's a psycho. How do you know he won't turn on us or try to eat us? I saw into his eyes. They were different. He's not like the others. But he can fight. Well, that's for sure. All right, he stays. But watch over him, okay? Our backs are against the wall, Maya. We've got enough to worry about. Trust me. He's worth it. The terror of deep waters calmed. Look at her go. She's not a bad dancer, not at all. She's got rhythm and grace. But what's really captivating is that she doesn't give a damn what anyone else thinks. She's doing her own thing and to hell with everyone else. I can't take my eyes off her. She's so uniquely herself. I wish I had the guts to join her. 
Imagine that. Me dancing. I could never. I mean, could I? Come on, man. Just let go. Let loose. Dance. Impress the girl. One foot in front of the other. Hey, buddy. Got a question for you. How do locomotives hear? Counting sheep, but all are slaughtered. No, relax. It's another joke. How do locomotives hear? Through the engineers. Spoiled milk, curdled eyes. Fine, so it wasn't laugh out loud funny. There are other types of jokes, though. We'll keep working on it. The pretty lady. What about her? Why does she make the skin blister? Razors rip through my chest when she shines at me. I think that's called love. Insatiable unhatred! Yeah, that's part of it. You feel like you can be completely vulnerable. Like you could give him your heart and he'd be as safe in their hands as it was in your chest. The air tastes sweeter. Colors are brighter. Blood pours thicker! Yeah, it's, it's like that. Man, I keep forgetting this is your first time. You're in for one hell of a ride. I'll never forget the first time he showed me the game. There was something beautiful about it. Pristine, ordered, balanced, black and white, king and pawn, winner and loser. It makes sense, you know? Things fitting neatly into two categories. And if you weren't paying attention, it all seems to line up. You can see everything fits, kind of, right and wrong, you and them, turn by turn. But, but it's a lie, all of it. There's no rules, no teams, no turns, no kings. There's only one thing I learned from chess that's true. If you push a pawn to the edge, he comes back changed. All right, I'm up. Now, what's so important you had to wake me? I scraped my soul raw and scribbled the black scars on the pulpy page. A poem? Really? Rip open your ears for my inky river. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's hear it. But make it quick, all right? Murderous. The lady smiles and singes my salty blood. And my purple cage crushes my soul. My lungs drink fire. My heart pumps reddened mud. Her voice riddles me with all the holes. Oh, that that's the end. Will it splatter the pretty lady's heart? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna love it. Krieg, I know I promised when I left Pandora that we'd see each other again. A lot's happened since then. I met this girl. She's a real handful, just like I was. She's headstrong, impulsive, and somehow twice as stubborn. But she's just a kid. And she needs better guidance than I had. The reason I'm saying all this is... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if every siren knows when they meet the person they're going to pass their gifts to. But I did. Ava's my best shot at leaving this world a better one. Right now, I'm at the end of a thread of sirens spanning thousands of years. And I, I can feel each and every one of them still here with me. And if that's possible then I know that death and time can't take you and I away from each other. <laughs> I'm too stubborn for that. So if I go, just know that I'll see you in the stars, big guy. I promise. Okay, let's try this one more time. Say, buddy, what did the science book say to the math book? Uh, You've got problems. Ha! Huh? Get it? Unleavened dread! Make the corpses dance! Whatever. Comedy is wasted on you anyway. What's that noise? Is someone there? It's okay. I won't hurt you, little friend. Here's a little crumb from my dinner you can have. I'm just gonna sit here nice and still. It's up to you if you want to come out. Well, hey there, pretty. Aren't you just the cutest little thing? It's nice to meet you. Looks like you and I are both lab rats in this place. I'm called Krieg. I think I'll call you 
to Wanda. You know, I needed a friend. Let's agree to help take care of each other. Bloodlust. An archaic term, but an apt one to describe what I'm seeing. This form of psychosis appears more potent than any drug I'm aware of, and somehow suppresses the subject's pain receptors entirely. To trigger this psychosis would create instant, formidable soldiers, regardless of equipment or training. And yet there is a second application I see more value in. If I could release an airborne delivery system in a dense population, I could turn neighbor against neighbor. In military parlance, softening the target. Then our armies could simply waltz through the gates. What have you done? Those... Those people, they, they, they didn't deserve that, did they? They didn't ask to be here, to be broken down and then twisted into violent, murderous beasts. They were innocent once, and you just, you just killed them like they were nothing. What makes you better than them? <clears throat> we have to hold on to our humanity, our sense of right and wrong. Innocence has to matter or we're no better than Benedict. We have to hold on to one tiny thread of goodness, or we'll lose ourselves completely. Next nap songs for the garbage people! <laughs> Who's there? Who said that? Subject 24C. Or perhaps I should give you a name. You are different, after all. Perplexing. An aberration, really. I'll admit my first inclination is to eradicate failure, but... Perhaps you have something to teach me, yes? About the minds of the psychotics? What allows you to resist me? Some innate quality the others don't possess? A chemical irregularity? Or are you just special? Well, we've all the time in the world. So let's see just how special you really are. Oh, dear heart, I dream of you every night. When I'm not with you, I long for your touch. You're all I can think about, my sweet. The loneliness I feel when apart from you is almost too much to bear. The only thing that keeps me going is my music and thoughts of you. The days are dreary without my sweetie. Oh, please save me, my darling, dearest heart. Edric Edelhard, report to the lab for treatment. It's time for treatment, Edric Edelhard. Yes, my sweet, I'm coming. <laughs> Ted, our doom and gloom playlist isn't having the desired effect on our patience. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, perhaps I could make a suggestion. I'm listening. Instead of doom and gloom, let's replace it with a party mode. We'll tell them we're going to treat them to something special. Dangle a bit of hope in front of them, so to speak. Go on. And then we play music so upbeat, they'll be begging for doom and gloom. What do you have in mind? Ska, sir. Oh, you're evil, Ted! I didn't know you had it in you! Ah, cry foul at the ringing of my teeth! Okay, fine. You think you finally got a handle on this whole comedy thing? I'm game. Tell me your joke. Why didn't the skag cross the road? I don't know. It met! Me! Ha 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 ha! You know what? Not bad, man. Not bad. No, I, I don't understand. So far, you've let me go wherever I want. Not that you let me actually do anything. But why not there? What's so important to you in there that even I can't see it? The rattling of cages roars thin through the glass. This isn't like you. I, I'm, I'm tired of you talking in circles like this. Breach not the wailing of terror, discourteous contortion. Fine. Have it your way. But someday I'll figure out what's in there. What you've been keeping me away from all this time. Tread nothing but whispers.